What's up guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today, um, honestly kind of nervous. I'm very excited as well though because I finally purchased an Igor bundle and I've wanted one of these for the longest time ever since Bella first started posting videos of like the behind the scenes of how she puts the bundles together. I'm like, okay, I have to purchase one, but I just keep putting it off because money, they're expensive. And if you couldn't already tell from my accent, I am from Australia. So I think shipping alone is like $40. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Um, I don't really want to talk about it, but I heard that she's going to stop doing them really, really soon. So I was like, okay, bitch, it is now or never. Let's just bite the bullet. Don't think about the money and get it done. So here I have it in my hands, the infamous pinky purple packaging and I cannot wait to rip into this. I purchased it during a sale. So she did message me and say it's going to take a little bit longer because there was just so many orders, but you know, I'd rather wait longer and have a good put together bundle rather than something that's rushed. So it's a lot heavier than I was expecting it to be. So hopefully that's promising as well. Um, I'm trying to think of like things to say before I actually rip into it, but yeah. Oh, I guess um, the theme, I kind of want it to be a little bit open. I don't know if that is actually harder for her and should prefer a specific theme, but I gave her my Instagram handle and I also said that my two main inspos, I'm sure if you watch my channel, you could guess, are like sassy brats vibes and also K-pop idols. So yeah, let's see what she came up with. I'm gonna be like smiling like an idiot the whole time because it's like a nervous thing. But anyway, <laughs> should I just pull it all out? Okay, this is, ooh, okay, that's a lot of blue. What do we have here? Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming this is gonna be all the accessories. I'm gonna open this first. I probably should have bought scissors over. Yes, I am wearing pajama bottoms. <laughs> so we have um, a little pair of like vintage sunglasses. These are a plain black color. I love sunglasses as an accessory. Oh, cool. And then we have like um, the really like OG butterfly clips. I love hair clips. If you guys have been on my Instagram, like every other photo I am wearing hair clips. So perfect. This. It looks like some sort of bag, I think. Like, not really a bag, just like a little pouch. But it's cute. It's cute. Don't lie to me, bitch. I'm not cute. Um, it's not like the nicest material or anything, but yeah, I don't know. It's whatever. I have watched plenty of these videos to know that you read the note last. Right? I think so, because then otherwise it kind of ruins the surprise. But it looks like we have a whole lot of denim here. Ooh, okay, so first up is actually a denim dress. This looks really cute. It looks cute, it looks um, very tight fitted, which I'm not super used to wearing, but I'm not opposed to, so that's cool. Just a plain little bright blue boob tube. I love boob tubes. Again, this seems like really tight, but obviously it's super stretchy. Just like a mid-wash sort of blue. They have like the nice fraying across the top, which is obviously very early 2000s. And I can definitely see why this would be like Bratz inspired as well. I wonder like how low-waisted they are or if they're kind of like a mid-rise. Hopefully they fit like a mid-rise. This is a very familiar fabric to me. I feel like I have a crop top like this. Oh, but this one is a mini skirt. I love this, I love this. I know like colored camo isn't for everyone, but personally I still really enjoy it and I love the blue shade as well. So that's super cute. It's cute, it's cute, it's cute. It's cute. And then I think this is the last item. Dude, these are dope. Oh my God, they are like, um, like motocross pants, I suppose. I always look out for these at the thrift store, but I never really come across any. And if I do, they're super expensive, like, 80 bucks or something, 80 to 100. So this is really, really cool. They kind of seem, I don't know, do they seem short? Like maybe they'll be a cropped sort of length, but I really, really love these. Like these are sick. Is this like a little choker I'm thinking? I love, it's like a blue choker, but with like diamantes on it as well. This is definitely my style. I love that. And then we also have just a plain chain as well. 
which is good because at the moment I really need silver accessories. I'm trying to stock up so I can do like the really layered effect. Okay, so this one. I don't know if I really got any of like the eye girl um, specific match. It all kind of seems like um, just like other random accessories, which is cool. They're still really cute, but I was just expecting to have more of an eye girl heavy on the accessories. <gasps> Oh my god, bitch, I love this. Ooh, okay. This is um, like a little nameplate that says number one princess, which is just iconic. And I thought it was a necklace, but I think you can probably do like a belt chain as it as well. This is sick. I love that. That's like one of my favorite things in the whole package, to be honest. Um, and lastly, oh, okay. I think this one is actually eyegirl themed. It is um, the star sign choker and if you didn't already know, I am a Libra. I'm a fucking Libra. Yeah, I think that is everything. It is time to read the note. Oh yes, other stickers as well. Yes, so we have the tattoo, the temporary tattoo, and then, oh my God, these are so cute. Um, the eye girl sticker that you always get. And then I also just have like these random, like squishy Barbie stickers, which I love. I feel like I need to like breathe before I read this. I'm also, honestly the worst at reading out loud like I still have nightmares over that so please forgive me but um hi angel I was super excited to style this custom look for you I just wanted to take this moment to tell you how I'd pull it all together from head to toe to accessorize I popped in that incredible dead stock gemstone detail aqua choker that ties in perfectly with the colorway of your first look option that stack up sorry see what I mean by I'm just awkward it was brackets I should pause <laughs> <laughs> that stuck out perfectly with the chunky AF chain necklace and mismatched eye girl stud earrings. I don't think I got the stud earrings. I'll have to look through again. Um, this combo was giving me Y2K Bratz realness for sure. Um, you can also snap on those aqua iridescent hair clips and the classic black kiss sunnies that are dead stock from the 1990s. I also included the zodiac choker in your sign just cause, hee <laughs> hee, which I'm very grateful for because like I said, star signs is, I'm into it, I'm into it. Um, for your bod, I included three different options for you. For your first look option, I included the American Deadstock tube top that pairs like a dream with the Y2K era express jeans. How brats are these? Definitely with like the little frayed top, totally agree. You can also pop the number one princess belly chain around your stomach for an extra cute addition. Or two, for the second fit, I popped in those statement vintage moto pants that were giving me stage performance vibes paired with the tube top from above. I included that Bratz AF denim tube dress that I thought would look so damn banging on you paired with the mini animal print handbag. Okay, yeah, so I was wondering kind of like how this came in, but okay, that makes sense. Um, I also threw in that old stock 1990s era blue camo skirt because I noticed lots of blue camo in your Depop likes. You can mix and match this with your wardrobe however you please, obvi, hard eyes. I would def complete these fits with your fave combat boots or strappy heel or whatever you want. Hee hee hee. Thank you for trusting in my creativity and I hope you enjoy the look. Internal love, Bella. Okay, so the note said that the skirt was just an extra, but I'm trying it on first. I actually think that it is bang on for what I requested, which was sassy brats meets K-pop girl idol stage performance. And I think this is totally hitting the nail on the head. I teamed it up with these chunky white Buffalo London sort of jubes, which I think ties the theme in perfectly. And yeah, um, the tube top is a really nice quality material, way nicer than the ones that I own. I just buy mine from like Supre, so. <laughs> and the skirt I was concerned was gonna be too small, but it actually fits perfectly. Obviously it is quite short, but I mean, I'm not opposed to a really mini skirt, so I think that it looks amazing. I love the choker, and yeah, I feel like this one is definitely a thumbs up, a good win. Um, I was thinking that it would also look super cute paired with this jacket. Obviously not, you know, your everyday casual attire, but um, I think for like an insta pic to really complete the theme, this is the look, right? I am also gonna try styling the skirt with a um, like light blue cardigan that I have because I think that will give kind of like mm, late 90s jawbreaker sort of vibes. 
Honestly, when I first pulled out this look, I wasn't in love with it, but now that I've tried it on, I'm kind of like low-key here for it, which is very surprising. I think it'll be love it or hate it for you guys. It's very hit or miss, I suppose, but when you're asking for Y2K Bratz vibes, like, no denying that Sis definitely delivered on the brief. I also kind of feel like Beyonce Destiny's Child era a little bit as well. I think it's the mid-rise jean, which... Um, isn't like my favorite thing ever. I think if I was doing this look, I'll probably um, switch them out for like a pair of white cargo pants I have. That way I can wear the chunky shoes again and it's just like more my style. But I think it actually is very cute and definitely very authentic to the era, which is awesome. The belly chain I love. I think on an everyday basis, I'll end up styling it more as a necklace just because I don't really have the bod to be rocking a belly chain. And of course I've got my butterfly clips scattered in a waterfall throughout my ponytail. So yeah, I definitely feel like I stepped straight out of the early 2000s in this one. I absolutely love these pants. This is probably the piece I was most excited for when I pulled them out of the bundle and they did not disappoint upon try on. If you guys have been on my channel, I'm sure you would agree that this is very my sort of style, my vibe. I love a good pair of funky pants and I just teamed them with chunky shoes yet again. Um, I don't know, maybe black would actually look better, but yeah, I think this is a cute look. She mentioned in um, like her little write up that this was more of the stage performance inspired, which I can totally see. Um, it's not like, it doesn't scream K-pop, but I definitely think it kind of, like you could see one of the members of ITZY wearing it as a stage performance, right? If they're doing like a blue theme. I don't know, I think it's really cool. Maybe if I teamed like a mesh top underneath as well, or just layered something else. If I was just gonna wear it as like a normal street look, I was thinking I would probably just team my trusty old bum bag though. You guys often ask me about this. It's just from Pretty Little Thing. And then I added the extra chain on top and it literally completes any look so I think that just kind of ties in the black on the pants a little bit better but yeah I love this I also changed the accessories to the Libra star sign choker and also just the silver chain as well and I mean probably the sunglasses would go with this look as well but I think um, these are recommended for the next look which will be the last one but yeah, I feel like this has been pretty successful. Some of the ones I watched, I know some people have been a little bit disappointed recently, but I feel like this has been a really good bundle. Let me know what you guys think, like what would you rate the bundle so far? Like I said, we've got one look left and I kind of saved like my least interesting one for last, so sorry about that. But yeah, I'm gonna try the denim dress now. Okay, so I know I kind of just came for this dress and called it uninteresting, but now that I've tried it on, I actually think it's kind of cute, right? Like it fits perfectly like a glove which was one of the things I was most concerned about ordering like what if you know you've spent all this money and it doesn't even fit and there's nothing you can do about it but everything was spot on which is such a relief and I think that this dress is a really nice inclusion because obviously it's quite nice and like almost like a subtle statement if you will on its own but it's definitely something you can pair up with stuff you already have in your wardrobe as well so I'm gonna play around with layering like a turtleneck underneath jackets over the top all that sort of thing um, the only thing I will say is that this purse I just don't really care for at all um, it's very cheap and kind of tacky and I love tacky shit but this is just like not tacky in a good way so um, she could have not included it and like I would be just as happy with the bundle. So yeah. Oh, and the sunglasses, of course, as well, which are a really nice shape. So, I mean, overall guys, I'm pretty stoked with this bundle. But again, let me know what you think, what you would rate it, which look you thought was the best. Um, and also, have you ever ordered an eyeball bundle? Would you consider ordering one? Um, I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do because I post fashion content all the freaking time and yeah we have fun on still the spotlight so hopefully i'll see you in my next one mm -hmm.